karting, an intense, pressurised and highly competitive sport. It's rarely covered by the mainstream media and few know that this is the sport where the likes of Jensen Button and Lewis Hamilton started their careers. But the sport has a problem, it's very expensive. At the moment we're spending upwards of £26,000 and over. It's nothing unusual to be spending £35,000. So is this essential step on the motorsport ladder pushing good drivers out of the sport? Is money overriding talent in kart racing? There's a lot of talent out there and there's a lot of that talent of it goes wasted because people can't afford to not only do the karting but take that talent further uh, you know, into, other, into other fields. My name is Elliot Harvey and I'm 11 years old and I've been karting for two years. Elliot is a young driver with bags of potential. Still fairly new to the track, he's caught the eye of many within the sport already. You know, obviously if, if he had an unlimited pot of money, we'll, he'll be racing at the front every single weekend and, and obviously depending on you know, how he gets on over the next few years in karting, you know, the world's your oyster. But Elliot doesn't have an unlimited pot of money. His dad is a car valetor his mum's a nanny, and they're finding it very difficult to fund Elliot's racing. Money issues with us um, limit our testing, the amount of times we can race. We've, we've changed classes this year, we've moved up to Minimax, uh, and now this does cost us a lot more because we need more, new tyres every time we go out. Whereas last year in Honda Cadet, we were able to run on eight old tyres and still be at the front of the grid. You cut down on every other thing you can cut down on. You, you don't go shopping as much, you don't go, you, you know, you don't go off and buy yourself a new pair of shoes every few weeks or that new handbag or anything. You just do without it. And because you do without things, it just gives that extra bit of money towards your kids. Yeah, okay, some people think I'm stupid because I give him everything I've got, but he's my kid. Why wouldn't you give your kid what you've got? Elliot's talent on the circuit is clear for all to see, but unless his family find more funding from somewhere, there's a danger that one of the sport's bright young stars will disappear off the track for good. At the moment, long term, we're not, we're not looking any further forward than the next four weeks, which is a real shame. I just, I, I can't carry on um, funding it myself. Oh, money is a restrictor and uh... You can't really do anything about it if you haven't got the backing, and that's one thing we're struggling on, because we haven't got any backing. But the investment needed to race in karts isn't just required for a short space of time. To reach the top levels of motorsport, you need to start young. My name's Albert Carter, and I'm a kart racing driver. I've been racing for two years, but I've been practicing for, six, for about four years. Albert's just nine years old and has started karting young, but it hasn't taken long for him and his dad's weekend hobby to get serious. Kart racing was just something that I wanted to do to spend more time with my son, bonding and having fun. So we actually started karting when we were four, but it's got very serious now. Unlike Elliot, who can only afford to race once a month, Albert and Andy are out racing nearly every weekend. The costs soon mount, and with Albert being at the start of his career, they're not going to get smaller anytime soon. First of all, you've got your hotel bill, which is maybe, if you can get in the travel lodge, it might be as little as £60. Then you've got your fuel for your van, that's £100 a weekend. Your car in your tyres, your chain, your spark plug, your engine wear and tear, which is probably about £300. Carts are £2,000. Uh, I'm saying we budget, most, I think most weekends probably cost five, six hundred pound Despite Albert's young age, Andy has worked hard, spending a huge amount of money on his son's career already, just to keep him racing. Andy says if a way to limit spending in the sport was found, talent would soon rise to the top. I think if they could level the playing field in cadet karting, it would definitely make talent that hasn't got the funds come to the front more. 
because I'm, you know, like I said, I'm spending 26 to 30. I know there's dads for a fact that are spending 100. And of course, then you get more seat time, you've got better equipment, you've got fresher engines, you've got fresher chassis, and all that makes a difference. So talent is definitely being held back in this sport. But despite the costs involved, Albert is as determined as ever and is showing no signs of giving up anytime soon. I want to be a racing driver my whole life. For then, for then I can be successful in motorsport, like my dad. There's a lot of pressure over the course of a race weekend. Karting is a high intensity sport with big teams spending big money to keep their drivers at the top. But that pressure is magnified when you're going it alone. Jack Barber is just 15 years old. On track, he's showing huge potential, but his parents aren't available to be with him every weekend. He used to hire a mechanic, but can't afford to do that anymore, meaning he has to keep his car running at the same time as worrying about his driving. But that's far from the only limit on Jack's talent. This is my car, it's a 2009 Gillard 010B chassis. These are my tyres, they're around 140 pounds a set. Uh, this means we can only get them new every couple of races because obviously they're very expensive. The guys at the front will be getting new ones every race, um, which is obviously a massive advantage as they give a lot more grip. Uh, this is my chassis. It's a 2009 cart, so it is a little older. Um, the dri drivers at the front will either be on 2012 or 2013 chassis, so that gives them a bit of an advantage. If we go to the engine, um, Obviously, we can't afford to spend a lot of money on the engine. Um, if you spend more money on it, you can uh, you know, spend more time dynoing it and stuff and getting more power out of it. Uh, so that obviously gives another advantage and we can't afford to do that, so that's another big disadvantage. Um, also, I mechanic myself, so I have to, you know, so that, that takes my focus off my driving a little bit and improving my driving, um, which makes it a little bit harder to be competitive. Despite all of these limitations, Jack is still running at the front of a hugely competitive class. Imagine where he'd be with a bit more money. There are parts of kart racing with very different ideas on how to run the sport. The Elite Karting League, or the EKL, ensure that opportunities in the series are completely equal. EKL is different because you get supplied the carts, so everyone's on the same cart, same setup, it's all down to the driver's ability. Luke Austin used to compete in Formula TKM, a popular but expensive form of karting. He grew tired of the financial constraints of the sport and decided that the EKL was the way forward. It's far too expensive and if you're running on a budget, you just can't do it. So whereas the EKL, if you're racing this, you're able to get the budget. It's £100 a round and that's your budget for every round. You're never going to spend any more than that and uh, you'll be able to race at the front nice and competitively. Some within karting have questioned whether you can use budget racing to progress into other forms of motorsport. Those within the EKL believe it is possible, but a lot more difficult. The EKL series is different because basically at the end of the day, the EKL series, if you win it, you're not going to go super warm from it. It's not going to happen. But it will give you the impetus to maybe go on to super one if you want to and you can afford to do so. Drivers, Parents, team bosses and officials all seem to agree. Money is restricting talent in kart racing. Definitely, people with lots of money will get further and that's just the way the sport is, unfortunately. I feel talent is wasted. Elliot's not the only kid I've seen with, with lack of money. He's not the only kid I've seen that should be on the track more. If you haven't got that money just waiting there to be taken out of a pot and put into the, into the budget, you've got to go out and find the budget from sponsors and that is a definite disadvantage. Talent is definitely restricted by funding in motorsport because well you've got people who can't afford to race anymore, you've got loads and loads of talent but just can't afford to race. If people have got the potential it restricts them from reaching their potential rather than stopping them from having the talent there. The more finance you've got the more successful you can be. Karting has produced British motor racing legends, but unless the sport acts fast to lower costs, the next generation of drivers could be forced out of the sport before they've even got off the starting grid. <laughs>